Hello, so another sunny day But today I have something I really love 911 2016 Turbo S I will show you around Especially the, we start with the front end Because the face is really gorgeous to me and Let's go, I have my son watching me behind the camera It feels awkward actually <laughs> Elash, okay? Let's go All right, this is the front end. It looks really simple. I mean, typical Porsche. It looks like a bit like a frog, some say. So it comes with the eight out here, and then there is a spoiled lips. They call it lips that you can push on the buttons. I will show you later. So you will open up, you get more aero. So basically, this one is not carbon, but this car is powerful enough for the world. To me, this is a perfect Porsche that you want to drive every day conditions and you want to see this yeah I will open this one first and then show you what's inside yep. this is the only capacity for your luggage it's not bad you just pop there is a red lever here so you can just pop in the hood without starting the key so I forgot obviously how much how, how many liter it is but good two hand luggage not huge but this car is not purpose was built for carrying luggage or small enough i show you the interior is quite small but i love it because the space to me is just driver focus you know it's really hot today but i like it the picture looks amazing on this car when it's hot anyway put it back like this just slam it there you go all right here is one of the most uh, special part of this car single lock well this is one of the special part of the car it comes with 20 inch single lock i mean this is so Porsche. they have uh they have special nuts to open it so you carry it around and then it comes with ceramic brick six spot and this one is uh 245 20 inch goodyear eagle tire eagle f1 i think but look at the side i think the design of the wheel is great it looks like uh, bbs it's bbs always perfect for any kind of Porsche. I'll show you the rear is even wider. Yes, so this is the rear tire. It's wider, meteor, but still 20 inch. But this one is 305 uh, the width. And as you can see here, there is a duck because the engine is located at the back. I think most Porsche Porsche. How, how do you pronounce it? The engine is at the back. So this is the inline flat six, I think. I keep saying inline six. Uh, this is flat six, 3.8, uh, 580 horsepower. So the brake still ceramic at the end, but it come only with two, if four pots, uh, which is a big, huge pot, including the front six. Enough stopping power for this monster because it's not that heavy, it's only 1600 kilograms which is around uh, M4 competition's weight I think which uh, same amount of uh, horsepower anyway you can see the I hope you can see it the rear spoiler is adjustable from a button inside so I will show you after this look at that ass I mean it's beautiful even though with the rear spoiler down Everything is still stock, the stock pipe, everything stock. I don't need to explain more because all the sizes of the wings. Oh, I think only this is upgraded, so you have more coolings. They have um, more air ducts to cool the engine. I will show you the engine real quick, but anyway, just appreciate the. I mean, Porsche always built really simple but really good looking. Car. This one is one of it. Uh, it's not aggressive, but to 
me is elegant. I mean, look at that. Okay, let's check out the power unit. So, this is. I always love looking at the engine, but this one, just a simple one. I mean, this one is upgraded. The stock, I think the grid is that side. This one is going up. I might be wrong. I might be right. Anyway, that is how you hold, open it. 3.8 liter turbo S. Uh, inline six, 580 horsepower. I forgot the torque. It's really hot. <laughs> I can feel the heat. So you can check the, this is the where you refuel the engine, the engine oil. That's water, basically with the radiator, and then ow, mobile one, mobile ones, oil. Anyway, can you see my face? Lovely engine, the cooling system. Anyway, let's close it back. That's it. All right. So this is the interior. I like the steering wheel because. I think it's designed the same with more options or maybe the same with 918 I love 918 never made one one in Malaysia the white one but amazing car but uh, this one doesn't come with the bucket seat obviously this is not the GT versions but the seat is pretty good I mean the cockpit uh, the pedal is good I mean they come with obviously two pedals and then the resting Food and then carbon fiber here carbon fiber here this one actually we just purposely don't want to open it yet it's just straight from the factory so the carbon fiber still look pretty good the condition is great uh, no scratches the leather stain in good conditions and I bring you around show the mileage and details let's go come here but before I start, I uh, just want to show you the exterior, what it looks like so when I push the spoiler and the front lip buttons. We got a key here. So this is the interior, this is what I'm talking about, the steering wheel inspired by the 918, one of the best Porsche car ever, <laughs> I, I love it because I'm quite biased about it, 77 kilometers on the clock, the speedometer with double S, lovely thing, and then all the, the digital information about your car, the turbo boost, uh, the water temp, engine temp is all located over there. And this is all the options you have. Uh, this is where you check this out. Check this out. I put it this way. So, see, see, see. So uh, the sport plus here it act better. And the console over there, over here. There's a button here. You can control a few things. The interior is basically Porsche. What you can expect from Porsche. It looks like a jet fighter finish so here where you put down I'm going to put down the rear spoiler now all right that's it and then the suspension setup the roof go up there and then pressure control off and then this is the wing I mean sorry this is not the wing uh, this is for the uh, uh, spot height rear right high what the hell man seven speed automatic uh 911 of course 
the favorite number for any car guys uh, the finish is pretty good chrome here it feels good solid very solid uh, with the carbon fiber and then all black on black uh, interior and then check out the back red uh, seat belt always good it's not spacious but it's enough for Porsche because that's what they build for the bucket seats uh, yeah not the full bucket but it's nice the whole interior all carbon fiber lovely come with the club digital I mean sorry analog hey it's G digital anyway uh, turn around anyway this is the key I'm not sure what year that Porsche adapt this kind of key it's pretty good it looks a bit long for a coupe car but it looks like a Panamera a little bit anyway it's a cool little guy here like a toy car Hot Wheels car where you put it here bam over there so that is how you start the engine yeah cool I love this alright that's it I hope you get what I'm trying to deliver to you it's a great car with black and black, uh, black on black interior with some carbon finish, 77 on, uh, kilometer on the clock. No issue, zero issue, uh, perfect conditions. You can just drive it and go home. The seat is comfortable, uh, perfect for two two persons, and then the rear a bit small, but it's Porsche. Who cares about it? Anyway, uh, contact me. Uh, in the link in my bio I prefer WhatsApp but other things also work with me anyway thank you for checking out 